Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Actors eChat Show on ActorsEntertainment.com. I'm your host, Alexis Nichols, and today we are very lucky to be joined by actor, stuntman, and stunt coordinator, Steve Rizzo. Hello, Steve. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Doing well, thank you. So much awesome. better now that you've joined us. Yes, well, thank, I, that's, I like that. Yeah, thank many you. things that we definitely want to go ahead and get started chit-chatting with you about. Absolutely. So one of the first things I have to fill our viewers in, a fellow guy from Maryland here. Yeah. Here we go. Go right? Ravens, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah, from Baltimore, correct? Yes, absolutely. So how did a guy from Baltimore, Maryland, get interested in coming out to L.A. and being in Hollywood? Uh, I wanted to be a stuntman growing up as a kid and ah. just, you know, doing the, the rough things that kids do. And this guy just came up, packed my bags, and came out here and just made it happen. You just did it. Yeah. That's fantastic. So. Now, you've always been very athletic, right? Yes, absolutely. Been mm -hmm. an athlete all my entire life, from, yeah. from a kid all the way up to, to present day, yeah. Cool. Now, what, what kind of sports? What have you been involved uh, in? Well, mostly football and track and field were the okay. two sports. But I mean, when you're a kid, you're growing up, you, you do everything. Yeah. But then you, you <laughs> fall in love with what you know with what you oh, really like. Oh, check that out. What's that? Oh, that's uh, from the Miami Vice Action Spectacular. It was my one of my first jobs moving out here 20, 21 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's You've up been at out Universal here 21 Studios. years? Yes, I have. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yes. That's been great. A, it's been a fun ride. So this is your new home then? <laughs> yes, my permanent home. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's great. That's great. Yeah. So um, so obviously you're very athletic, and we've had that whole background with the football and everything, mm -hmm. and track, and but you you're actually also been recognized specifically for a lot of these as well, right? I mean, you you have quite a, a following in in your athletics. Um, yes, I'm a member of the USA Track and Field Association, yeah. which is the same association that all the Olympians belong to. And anybody who runs in the the sanctioned meets has to be a member of. So, yeah. So we, you're in that, and so you're amongst all of those Olympians and everything like that. So that's wow. that's kind of that's kind of exciting yeah. to know that you're in that same group. Yeah, you know? completely. So. Probably met some neat people doing that then. Too. Um, getting there, yeah. getting there. You know, I, I run in the <laughs> masters division, so I run in guy. You know, I run with, run with men my age, 45 to 49. Okay. And uh, so you know, it it separates everybody, but you still you know you know who's who. Sure. Still know who's sure. Who. Now, football, you've actually specifically been playing and involved with that for 20 years. Do I understand that correctly? Yes. I oh, my gosh. I played ever <laughs> since I was a little kid. I mean, when I started playing organized ball when I was seven years old. Yeah. And I played all the way up until I was about 30 um, in all kinds of different wow. leagues and stuff. And that was just, you know, at work and age, just, you know, kind of catch up to you. <laughs> so I had, a, I had a step back. And now I just, now I just watch it on Sundays and then. And enjoy it. Hey, that's good. That's <laughs> yeah. great, though. That's wonderful. Yeah. So you came out to L.A. Mm -hmm. Did you have something set up before you came out here? An agent, a manager? Did you just move? Nothing. I moved. Wow. I packed my bags. I had twelve hundred dollars in my pocket and no place to stay, and I I came out here. You just went for and it. I just, yeah, I had. I just had to. I had to get it. I had to. Not that I don't love Baltimore, because I do love yeah, Baltimore, but I needed. I needed. I couldn't do what I wanted to do in Baltimore, so I had okay. to. I had to uh, pack up my stuff and come out here. That was pretty gutsy. Yeah, it, it was. <laughs> my parents thought he'll be back in three months. <laughs> Did they? And I never came home. <laughs> Surprise, so, yeah, you're still here. <laughs> I'm still here. 21 years later, still here, yes. Oh, my gosh, Steve. That's really neat. Yeah. That's really, really it's neat. It's fun. It's fun. I wouldn't, you know, it's the greatest job in the world. I wouldn't change it for anything. Good. I wouldn't change it for anything. So how did you find your representation to get started? Oh, man, you just you just send out, like everybody, you just send out resumes, pictures and sure. resumes. And you, you, you learn from people you hang around with. So when I worked at Universal Studios, that first job at the Miami Vice show, all those guys were working stuntmen and actors. So I was getting all kinds of advice from them. Hey, this is how you do it. You do this, 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 and the other thing. Okay. And Ooh, uh, what's hey, this? there you go. That's Universal. Ah, Studios. Universal. Yeah. And yeah. you also did um, Waterworld. Yes, I correct? did Waterworld for four or five years. Ah. Yeah, up there. Absolutely. I've heard that's a fantastic show. It's as well. a fun I show. I still haven't seen it. I oh need my to. gosh, it's such a fun, <laughs> such a fun show to do from a from a performer standpoint because you, you not only get to do stunts and stuff, but you get to act at the same time. You get to have a little improv going on with the crowd. Sure. You get to make people laugh, and it's just such a spectacular show, and it's just a, a really fun show to do, sure. and a fun show just to watch too. It so sounds like it. It, it definitely it sounds like it. Something Absolutely. to check out for people that come out here to California. <laughs> yes. Come out to California, go to Universal Studios, and see the Waterworld show. Yeah, mm. definitely. So how do you get training and get started in, in stunts? I mean, I think that's got to be one thing people have no idea what to do. You know what? It, it, that's, I get Except that question be a daredevil. a lot. <laughs> yes, I get that question a lot. How do you get involved in something like that? It's just um, most guys and gals, 
I don't want I got I don't want to you know separate um, have some sort of athletic background mm -hmm. whether it's sports whether it's martial arts gymnastics diving um, and if you have some sort of athletic ability you can you you can make it as a stunt person in this business um, and that's that's really how it all starts and then you learn as you go and I learned a lot of stuff at Universal Studios once again that very first job at Miami Vice learned fights and falls and how to jet ski and all kinds of stuff and then it just kind of snowballs from there and you learn and more and talk and more talk with more people and learn and meet more people and it just it just grows and grows and grows yeah, yeah. from there That's absolutely really now what kind of stunts specifically do you do you do i my my preferences are high falls oh and check that out there's an example oh Hello. there you go hawaii 50 oh wow a couple months ago um, high falls and fire burns i think are my two specialties okay. i'm extremely comfortable doing both yeah and I've done so many of each. And you do quite a few driving stunts as well. Correct? Yes, yes. So when somebody asks me what my specialties are, I say, well, I got specialties, but what do you do as a stuntman? I do everything except skydiving. I'm one of those old school guys who, are, who will do just about. Oh, check that out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's that? That was from a movie called <laughs> Dark Power that we shot last year in Puerto Rico. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was, oh, I was a stunt sure. coordinator and did a little stunt doubling for one of the, one of the actors. Well, that's actually a good place for me to bring this up. I, I want you, if you could, to describe to our viewers the difference between a stunt coordinator, mm -hmm. a stunt man, and also a stunt double. Well, stunt man and stunt double are pretty much one and the same. Okay. Um, there's different categories. When you're, when you're hired onto a show, you're either a stunt double or you're a stunt actor or you're, you're a stunt rigger or you're a utility stunt. I mean, there's all kinds of listings. Those all kind of go together. The only separation would be the stunt coordinator is the guy who hires all those guys and says, I, I need see. you to double this actor, I need you to rig this, I need you to do this. So the stunt coordinator doesn't so much do the stunts anymore. Mm. He tells other people to do the stunts. And you've done all of this? Yes, I'm, I'm getting more and more into oh, look just at stunt that. coordinating. And a little training. A little wow. training. You're, always, you're always training. So that's a behind the scenes shot. Kind that's of. pretty cool. This is another training shot. Oh my shot. goodness, we're going to see it happen, aren't we? Yes. Whoa. That, oh was, my uh, that was a whole thing for the Puerto Rico show we did, and they ended up cutting the whole thing, so we never even doing it. Oh, no. So it was a whole, it was a whole legal thing they had down there about uh, being on top of buildings and falling off of them and stuff. How is that when you get so excited about something, and then all of a sudden... Well, it's, it's great, it's but then when we got down there and it was so windy, mm -hmm. I'm like, glad. I'm glad they cut it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't pull the plug on it. was really... Because when yeah. I got down there, and we were up on the, the uh, where we were going to do the fall, I'm like, wow, this is real... Because we're right on the coast, at the cliff. This 120 foot cliff. Oh wow! And uh, oh, check out some more footage. There's a. There's a oh my gosh! Ooh. Yeah, that was another Barbie. angle. Was Those are going to be my reactions every <laughs> time. I <laughs> am that crazy person in the movies that whenever there's something crazy happening with a stunt, I'm like <gasps> oh, on the edge of my seat we, the whole time. Uh, we like that. We like that. If <laughs> so we get that reaction, then we know we've done our job. <laughs> yeah, we've done our so, job. So you're doing great. I'm watching yeah. behind the scenes footage and I'm getting that reaction. Oh, awesome. Love <laughs> so it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh wow. That's Speaking from Waterworld. Speaking of fire yeah. stunts that you used to do. Oh, and this yeah. is from Waterworld. Okay. Yeah, that's from Waterworld. Very neat. So, well, now that we've gone ahead and we've defined the differences between all of these things, mm -hmm. where have you been a stunt coordinator? What productions? Like, let's talk about the stunt coordinator. Um, I did skills. some. I did some assistant stunt coordinating mm -hmm. back a few years ago on a, a TV show called Life on Mars, where with my actor Jason O'Mara. Oh, and then um, I've just been doing some smaller projects. Last year we did Dark Power in Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. which we saw the the car hit. Oh, cool! And um, I've got stuff lined up. I just finished. Uh, I'll check that out. That's Jason, hey. my buddy. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> and um, so I got a couple of projects lined up uh, this year to coordinate and even act in as well. That's cool. So, yeah, I got, got one that I, that I actually have written and is being produced. You're writing now, too? Oh, I wrote it. I wrote this thing 20 years ago. Uh -huh. Longer than that. I wrote it when I lived back east. And it just kind of grows and grows and grows every time you pull it out. It, go, it goes, in, it goes in, the, in the hiding for a while. Mm -hmm. and then you pull it out, and, you just, and it grows and grows. And now it's turned into this pretty cool little story that that I got interest in so we're gonna we're shooting it uh, early early summer late spring early summer oh wow that's exciting yeah. to have that kind of like baby project come into fruition yes it is absolutely I'll check out that there we are doing a stunt on a little bike crash yeah uh, E-Trade commercial. That would be oh, an E-Trade e commercial. E commercial. So, so we have these stunts. You've been in movies mm -hmm. doing this. You've you've been in commercials, mm -hmm. and obviously we also talked about some of the live shows with Waterworld. I mm -hmm. mean, which which is your favorite? Oh, I will always go back to the live show. Yeah. Um, there's just there's an instant gratification 
with the live show, which sure. for people like me who have like no self-esteem, <laughs> you know, you love that instant gratification. Sure. So then, and that's just where I cut my teeth. So it's that's uh -huh. the beginning of, of, of everything. So it's always going to be close to my heart. Uh -huh. The live shows. Yeah. That's wonderful. Absolutely. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, you're watching Actors E Chat Show on ActorsEntertainment.com, and Now Media is an amazing production company, and they're out of New York. Check them out at EndNow.com, and we'll be right back with Actors E Chat. The great thing about NL Media is the one-stop shop. We are soup to nuts. We have writers, directors, producers, animators, motion graphics artists, editors, videographers, musicians, all under one roof. And we are a boutique creative house where we actually do the creative at much more affordable price and have the staff in-house to execute it professionally. My name is John Palacio. My name is Luis Fontes. My name is Paul Robinson. I am Jesse Cervantes. I'm Curtis Peel. My name is Ben Joran. One of the most common questions we have from potential clients is how does it work? What happens when you engage in now media to create a video, a marketing campaign? It first starts with, you know, obviously having the phone conversation with the client, brainstorm with them to come up with a really good concept and a really good idea to push whatever they're trying to do to the next level. Only with that in mind can we really try to tailor a concept and a script for their exact audience that fits in with their branding and the message they want to tell. We'll storyboard it out, get a real rough idea uh, of what we want to do. We'll then present the client with a couple of options, different ways that we could go with some of the things that we've come up with. And they'll say, this is good, and then we'll come back and we'll start animating that or designing it or editing it. Our clients are generally, you know, like to be really hands-on, and we'd like to hear from you kind of all along the board. There's no surprises. What we like to do with every partner is we actually create a page on the EndNow website so they can give feedback, and that way, when the time we get to the final product, you know, usually there's not a whole lot more of revision to do because they, we've already been working together the whole time. The big difference is that, that real personal creative touch. We have a creative group that can execute that vision, whether it's animation, video, motion, graphics, and do so with some unique creative that is custom tailored to that business. You know, dream it up. It's video. It's magic. It can happen. That was ennow.com. Go ahead to Actors Reporter and click on the Actors Discount link so you can get a nice discount to check that out. Welcome back to Actors eChat Show. I'm your host, Alexis Nichols, and we are here today with actor, stuntman, and stunt coordinator, Steve Rizzo. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me back again. <laughs> yes. So we have we were actually through the commercial just talking about some commercials, actually, uh -huh. that you've been doing. So yes. Will you tell us about those? Yes. I just recently had a uh, Walgreens, National Walgreens commercial, where I played this uh, great... Oh, there we go. Oh, we get yeah, to see it. great that. physical little... Uh, little piece there where I get to jump around the, the Walgreens oh, and neat. and uh, take care of all my customers oh, as my they goodness. need me. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a cool commercial. You oh, know, I've seen so this and I didn't, fun. obviously I didn't know it was you. It was there you go. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there you, you have it. <laughs> it was so much fun. It was, a, it was a long day, but it was a fun, it was a fun day. Yeah. It was a fun day, yes. It was, oh, it was yeah, and that thing, really that thing is, it just ran and ran and ran and ran. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. stunts are obviously in everything. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised. You have it you in would, commercials. You would be surprised. Sure. Absolutely. No, that's yeah. wonderful. Well, actually, I'd love to talk about the movie stunts and everything sure. that you've been involved in. Sure. Um, I, one of the things I wanted to bring up, of course, I can't help it as a big Dark Knight fan. Yes. <laughs> I have to talk about the Dark Knight That's Rises. okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Tell, tell our viewers about that experience. Oh, that was, that was, uh, that was fun because they took us all to New York. Yeah. And we shot in New York for, uh, at least my, my section was shot in New York for a week. And um, I just played a kidnap victim. Uh, Bane kidnaps me, one of his boys kidnapped me, and they throw me on the front There's of a motorcycle. There's a poster for The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, that's a great poster, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, such a good one. Yeah, I still haven't even seen the movie yet. i got to see it. <gasps> you are kidding no. me. I've seen it three times. Is it any good? Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, it sure did. No, I saw it three times for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> i gotta go, I got to go check it out. Um, but no, I just play. Uh, I played uh, a kidnapped victim of one of Bane's boys, and they uh, we come crashing out of Wall Street 
uh, stock exchange under the street of Wall Street, and we race through traffic, and then they throw me off. The, I'm on the front of a motorcycle, and wow. he throws me off on the motorcycle going about 35 miles an hour, and I just tumble and slide across the cobblestone and hit the curb, and that was it. That was my day. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> that was a fun day. <laughs> we actually have a chatter question. Oh, yeah. Chatter wants to know, um, who did you work with on the Dark Knight? The chatter wants to know who you worked with on the Dark Knight. Who I worked with? Mm -hmm. Oh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt was there. Um, obviously, Chris Nolan, mm -hmm. the director. Um, but it was a big, uh, it was a big stunt sequence. So the stunt coordinator and all the stunt guys, and and so as far as oh, Christian Bale, there he is, Joseph yep, there's Gordon Joseph. Levitt. Nice guy, nice guy. He always seems like such a he nice is. guy. He was really. I got a ch chance to chat with him a little bit yeah. in between shots. He's a really nice guy. I followed yeah. his work specifically when he was doing a lot of the indie films and mm -hmm. everything, and that's when I got cued into him. And it's really good yeah. to see the success that's come about. Oh. There's Christian Bale. Yeah. Yes, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to work directly with him. I walked past him, um, going to set. He was doing something else, and so <laughs> I didn't get a chance to get a chance to say hi to him though. Oh, neat. Yeah. Now, so. what other films have you been involved with? I had to bring that one up because that's been such a huge one. Oh and yes, such a personal yes. favorite um, as well. I double Seth Rogen, uh, so mm. I've been in. I've been with Seth now for the last mm, five, six years, except for this last one. I was. I was already doing another oh, project. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Seth. There's Seth Rogen. And uh, so we yeah, we do we did everything. I've been with him since Pineapple Express. Oh. And we so we did Pineapple Express. We did uh, Funny People. We did Observe and Report. Green Hornet. Um, wow. uh, the Guilt Trip. Uh huh. Which was uh, if you haven't seen the Guilt Trip, it's a. I funny haven't actually seen oh, that one. Oh, it's good. Yet. I need it's to. Good. It is the on two my of them list. together was just it was it was beautiful. Yeah. It was beautiful. It was just it was such a great movie. There's a poster for the Pineapple yeah, Express Pineapple where Express. you did the stunt work. Mm -hmm. That's really neat. Oh that's a gosh. fun movie too. If you haven't seen that one, that's yeah, that, that was that's, very funny. That's so <laughs> it's so ridiculously funny. It's just it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. No, obviously when you're doing a lot of the stunt doubling, you have people of different sizes mm -hmm. dropping and gaining weight. I mean, how do you do that in a healthy manner? Because your body is so such a big part of your well, when career. You're, when you're young, it's different. You know, you can do whatever you want to do to your body. But then, you know, as you get older, you realize, gosh, I can't. I can't gain this 25 pounds and then lose it again and gain it back and losing it. So I kind of I kind of maintain one weight and then whatever happens happens. Okay. That's kind of what I. It's kind of where that I'm at now. That sounds like it's probably. Oh, look at that! What and is that from? That was that was it. Actually, we were testing some new material, oh. some new uh, fire material, and we wanted to see what it was going to look like on film. <laughs> so there it is. There it is. Oh, there it, there's another. That's a good oh one. Oh my god. That's from uh, the movie Room Six. I was doubling Jerry O'Connell. Oh wow. On that. Have you ever gotten scared with all of these big things going every, on around you? Every fire? day. Do you? Every day. If you're not scared when you do this job, you shouldn't be doing it. Wow. That's how I look at it. So how do you deal with that? I mean, geez, we talk about stage fright and how like debilitating that can be. It can be. <laughs> you are really scared. You just learn to set it aside. You learn okay. to put it aside because it's your now. It, it, when when you were a kid, it used to be fun. Now it's your job. Right. So you've got to learn to. Oh, there's Jerry. Jerry O'Connell. Jerry O'Connell. Um, yeah, you learn to set it aside and, and just put it on the back burner. And I'm such an adrenaline junkie. It just after the the stunt is over, I'm just I'm still I'm all wired up and still fired up, and it's got it's a amazing. natural high going. Yes, it's it's no, there's nothing like it. Wow. Yeah, but it's the same thing with acting. I mean, I just finished uh, doing a show called Sinkhole, mm -hmm. where I was hired as the stunt coordinator, and then I was also they gave me this little part, which turned into this huge part. Oh, yeah, fantastic. it was really it really worked out nice for me, and. Um, I had just as much fun doing the dialogue with, with my actors, with uh, Eric Roberts and Gina Holden, that when I was finished the day, I was like, wow, this is just as, exhilar almost as, as exhilarating as doing a stunt. Yeah. And I was just, wow. So, you know, now I'm really, really pushing forward for the, uh, for the more the acting thing. More with acting. Yeah. But you've already had quite a career with acting as well. I yes, mean. <laughs> yes. Let, let's talk about that. One of the things I, once again, oh, Eric, there we have that, Eric Roberts. Eric Roberts. Um, one of the things, once again, I, I have to bring up a personal favorite, How I Met Your Mother. <sighs> you were, he was hysterical. I really hope our viewers have seen you on that. <laughs> that was, that was fun. That was one of my funnest characters I think I've got to play. Yeah. I usually get, I usually end up playing a bad guy. Oh. But when I got this role, I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun. And, and it was, it was a lot of fun. And I, I got to spend the whole day with Jason Siegel and Josh Radner and we just, it was a giggle fest all morning because that's all mm -hmm. we did because it was so ridiculous if, if you tell see Tell them it, about it. Yeah. Tell, tell I'm dressed as a giant calculator. And, uh, it's hysterical. Oh, and there's the poster from How I Met Your Mother. And I'm dressed as this giant calculator. I'm in front of this electronic store. I'm handing out flyers like they do in New York. You always see you have somebody handing out flyers. Yeah. And I actually come up to them and just, you know, start trying to give them some positive advice. 
and they just don't want to hear it. And they end up <laughs> pushing me down, and they run me over, and they, they run away. It's, it was just so much fun. Uh, and we just laughed all morning. It oh, was, my gosh. It was hysterical. That sounds like a blast. You're watching Actor Z on ActorsEntertainment.com. Here's Anna Shell Ray to tell you about a unique and a one-of-a-kind online gift shop called ArtistOr.com. Stay tuned, because we'll be right back with Actor Z Chat. Hi, I'm Anna Shaw Ray, here to share with you a terrific online gift store, Artistore.com. Artistore is an online art colony of completely original and absolutely affordable gifts and fine art. Artistore is particularly fun because it includes many unique and one-of-a-kind gifts, cards, and wall art that you can't get anywhere else. For example, in the gift section, Artistore carries beautiful apparel art ties. Yes, Art ties, ties hand decorated with jewelry, fringe, beads, and all sorts of stuff. Animal art ties, art deco ties, music ties, you name it. And best of all, the ties are for both men and women and can be worn well with a pair of jeans or in a tux. Artist Store also has inspirational corporate jungle posters. Joe Sabatino likes the poster of the hippo. He put it on his refrigerator to remind him of what not to look like. <laughs> yes, clown art, custom airbrush t-shirts, hand-knit scarves, photography, handmade decorated soaps, and more all on one site, artistore.com. I especially enjoy the artwork by Brennan's section of Artistore. Brennan offers his artwork on note cards, mugs, and wall art, whether it's cocktail ladies, a smoking clown, or Ben and Becky's art for a child's room. Brennan's unique watercolor or pen and ink art will be perfect for the occasion. And when you use the discount code Actors Reporter at checkout, you'll get 10% off your entire Artist Store order. Artistore.com. That's spelled A R T I S T O R. That's A R T I S T O R. Check it out. You'll be glad you did. Artistore.com for all your unique gift needs. Hello, hello. That was artistor.com, and you can check out some really amazing one-of-a-kind gifts there. In particular, I have to show you. This is a fabulous tie that they're actually having on that website right now. Go ahead and check out some of the wonderful personalized gifts that they have there. Also, go ahead and check out actorsreporter.com, because you can see, of course, we have our actors' discounts as well. So go ahead and click that tab and check it out. So everyone, welcome back to Actors E Chat Show. I'm Alexis Nichols and we are here with stuntman, actor, stunt coordinator, Steve Rizzo. <laughs> hello, hello again. Yeah. So just before the break, we've mm -hmm. been talking about how I met your mother and you were this fun giant calculator. Giant calculator. <laughs> you really have a knack for physical comedy as well. Yes. I mean, I saw you had that listed in your special skills as well. I That's love physical comedy. Yeah. I grew up watching you know, Buster Oh, there Keaton. it is. There it is. <laughs> there he is in his giant calculator. Oh, giant so calculator. funny. People mistake that as a, they, they say, oh, I saw you as the giant telephone. Yeah, like, no. how do you mistake that as a telephone? It's a calculator. <laughs> Especially when I say the dialogue, it's not a telephone. It's, it's, a, it's a It's a calculator. <laughs> I don't know. So, but no, I grew up watching the Three Stooges and Buster Keaton and Laurel and Hardy. And, awesome. and Three Stooges are just like my, my idols as a kid. So I take a lot of what they've done and, and, and just kind of modernize it and you know put it into physical comedy and it, it, it's worked out well for me. Sure, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, that's not the only thing that he's been involved with with TV. Oh, well, check that out. What's that? That's from Good versus Evil, TV show. What channel was it? Uh, man, why don't I remember what channel that was on? He's been <laughs> in so many that he can't remember them all. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> What a problem. And that? A little training. Okay. Just a little, always, always, like I said, always training. I love these training always shots. Always training. These training shots are just so neat. What's Another that Another TV one? show, Pacific okay. Blue. Pacific Blue. Used Great. to be on the USA Network. Oh, my goodness. Very cool. And that was a, a little project I coordinated. That, that girl's on a wire. Oh, really? Yeah, she had to jump, off. Above. She had to jump off of a tombstone and, and fly about 20 feet across and then land on me. Oh, my gosh. So wow. we set that whole thing up. Yeah. Well, quite a lot of experience with TV shows, too, so mm -hmm. I need to go ahead and talk. Let's sure. talk about Grimm. Let's talk about your role Grimm was fun because when I got the call for Grimm, I was like, oh, I had watched the show. I, mean, sure. I, I love that kind of, um, that kind of those kind of creatures and, and, yeah. and tales and, and storytelling and stuff. And uh, so when I went in and, and read for it, I was like, oh, this is going to be so much fun. And it turned out to be great. I had oh, so much good. fun on that show. Oh, and here's another stunt. Yeah, Hello. That's, that's from Grimm. Oh. That's Grimm. It's us whole, I was in the first, I don't know, 20 minutes of the show as this character, Carl Stanton. 
and uh, I have this, some sort of infectious disease that turns me into this this crazy zombie guy. Oh wow! Yeah, it was and it was so much fun and, and oh, they needed a they needed a stunt actor because there was a lot of physicality to the to sure. the role. So and there you were. And there we are. <laughs> oh, that makeup. Oh, How does that, that feel? What that does that was, feel like on your well, skin? <laughs> well, that was one day. That was that makeup job there was a four-hour, four-and-a-half-hour makeup job. Oh. And then the next day, because I was dead, and I was on uh, the morgue slab, so I'm, I was basically naked except a towel across my, my midsection. Oh, wow. I went in. It was a seven-hour makeup job because they did full-body oh. prosthetic makeup on me. So I was, I was on set at, I think, 4.30 in the morning, oh. and I wasn't ready to shoot until... 12 oh my God. by 11 or 12 in the afternoon did you stay awake that whole time no they, I, they had me they, <laughs> oh God, they had me on a, on a massage table and i fell asleep i had <laughs> the headphones in i was like ah, i was out <laughs> and they just did their thing probably best but oh, the, the funny thing was, was I'm, a, I'm an extremely hairy person mm -hmm. just being italian so they said oh, they, the they said to me yeah see that's the whole body yeah makeup. and they said there it is oh my gosh and they said steve you might want to you might want to shave your body down because this you know putting these things is going to hurt coming I was like yeah I'm oh, really familiar yeah. with it so I went to I was in Portland Oregon downtown Portland and I ran to the first Rite Aid I could find and I bought like 16 gallons of, oh. of Nair oh. <laughs> and no way. so I'm in my hotel room and I'm spraying all this Nair all over my body and I'm sitting I'm waiting for it so I jump in the shower and I hose it all off and it looked like somebody butchered Sasquatch in my shower it was, it was ridiculous it was, <laughs> But I'll tell you, it was the best thing I ever did because that would have been a nightmare tearing, taking off all that, all that prosthetics. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm, was, sure. I'm so glad I did it. Whew. And then the, the makeup guy's like, "Well, I'm going to suggest everybody do this because it was it made their job easier too. Yeah. You know, so because they weren't picking through hair and stuff, oh, and pull right. it right off, and yeah, it was great. But oh. yeah, that was that was great. That was a great experience up there. That's great a show. fun story. Yeah, great show. <laughs> great show. Oh wow! And also, Body of Proof. Body of Proof. Yes, I'm um, in the uh, new season of Body of Proof. Uh, I play the character oh. Frank. And uh, I, again, I get attacked by some zombie guy. Cut that out. I know. <laughs> I'm starting to get pigeonholed in these characters. <laughs> As I get on this bus, I'm having some, some banter with the bus driver. And then this guy comes crashing into the bus and grabs me and starts trying to chew on my leg. And I, Oof. you know, do my thing. So and that, uh, they, I'm not sure when that's going to air. They, the oh, new yeah. season got pushed, so. Oh, there's our poster there's for Body of Proof. Yeah. Gosh, that's really neat. Yeah, so <laughs> it's, you know. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Definitely. Yeah. I would say so. Now, also, you're involved with writing now as well. Y yes. I, I wrote... We, we talked about it briefly, but we got we to gotta backtrack and get a yes, little more into briefly. <laughs> I wrote... Uh, I'm an old school... I grew up on Friday the 13th and Halloween and mm -hmm. Freddy Krueger and all that stuff. Um, so I always wanted to write my own old school slasher movie. So that's what I did. And it, I started writing it... Um, man... I started writing it 20 some years ago and it just grows and grows and grows every time you pull it out and now it's grown into this great little story that um, I have an upstart production company uh, Legacy Features oh, that, Legacy uh, Features. Okay. we will be producing it and shooting it in uh, early early summer late spring early summer Oh, neat. so and I'll be also playing the killer wow. in it got so. some stunts going on in that as well and that is oh that's a short film I wrote and directed oh, called neat. Abigail yeah we did that a couple of years ago so this isn't your first time doing this. You, no, you, no, no. You've got quite a bit of experience with all of this. It's yes. really neat. I actually wrote Abigail for my daughter because she's you? in it. She stars in it. And uh, I wrote it as oh. a kind of like a little stepping stone. I'm sorry? What's your daughter's My daughter's name is Taylor. Ah. And she is a uh, musical theater uh, kid. Oh, so very she, cool. Oh, what's this we have on our screen? This is the trailer. That's my daughter there. Oh. Yeah. That is really neat. So is she still interested in, in acting? No, and all she that likes stuff? acting, but she likes her musical theater. Okay. She's a phenomenal singer and a dancer, and uh, but she she likes musical theater. Okay. That's her. That's where she's headed. She's going to be headed to New York and out of high school. So. Okay, so this runs in the family. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does because my wife is that's a phenomenal singer say. also. Yeah. She and she when she lived back east, she did a ton of musical theater. And then um, now she's a radio personality, so she doesn't really have much time to do the musical theater anymore, which I keep pushing her to do it more. <laughs> we hope you're watching. You're too talented to not do it. <laughs> and there so, she is. She's so beautiful, and she has oh. such a great voice. What's uh, her name? Her, her, her radio name is Tori Signal. Tori Signal. Tori okay. Signal. What, uh, what radio show can we check um, out? She on? is on a nationally 
uh, syndicated country music show she does on the weekends. Oh, country music fun. Yeah, she's big country music. And uh, that oh, actually on that show, she's Jenny Lane. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Because she does news and traffic also uh, during the week. She must have a great voice. She has a great voice. Yeah. Yes, she does. I'm she sure. Does. That's great. We've actually got a chatter question. Oh. Yes, we do. Do you sing also? Ah, Steve, do you sing also? I have done musical theater, yes, yeah. and I do like to sing. I, I mean, I'm a musician, mm -hmm. not by trade, but I, I, I'm a drummer and a pianist and, a, and recently a guitar player. I was going to say, don't you play guitar too? Yes, okay. I play guitar, and um, so yes, I, I, and I love musical theater, um, and actually thank you to my wife who got me into musical theater, and thanks to her, I mean, I've seen a ton of shows, and every time we go to New York, we 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 pack our schedule with shows. We see you know at least two shows when we're there, and, and sometimes That's more. Great. And uh, so yes, yeah, thanks to her, I've gotten so much. I fall, I've fallen in love with musical theater. And I love, I just love going and, and seeing. And sure, me yeah. too. What are some of the favorites that you've seen thus far? Oh my gosh, Anything stick out. We je well, I love the the, the theatrical version of Les Mis. Which oh was yeah, I've heard that's fantastic. Oh my gosh, I'm phenomenal. actually watching it this weekend. So. It's phenomenal. <laughs> Um, but man, I'm I'm more of a mainstream musical theater guy. Okay. So it's you know like like Little Mermaid and Young Frankenstein and, uh, and Spam a lot. Those are some of my favorites. Uh, Phantom of the Opera is always a, is always a classic. Is always a great one. Um, geez, I'm trying to think what we just saw. Oh, there's the poster for Les Mis. Yeah. And awesome. you performed. Yes, I did a musical a few years back called Baby. Mm -hmm. which was actually a Broadway musical back in the mid-80s, I think, late 80s. And it was on Broadway for a little bit, and then we revived it here in Los Angeles in a small little theater for about six weeks. Ah. Yes. What was, was your role in that? I played Nick, one of the, one of the leads. Oh. And it was my first, it was my first uh, musical audition. And I knew I could sing, and I knew I could do it, but I'm like, man, it's, I'm not going to, I'm just going to get some little, little, little role in this and I end up they offered me one of the leads oh. and I'm like hello <laughs> so I'll never forget I was at one of the rehearsals and we had oh. our music and we had our lyrics and and and, and all of our dialogue and I'm sitting there I'm in, I'm in rehearsal with all these people who have so much more experience than me and I remember texting my wife saying I am in so far over my head because I was just I was <laughs> stopped sweating and I was like oh, oh my god no. I got, I got, oh there there's it is. a poster for baby a poster for baby yes baby the musical yes. That's really so. neat. Now, how did you prepare for a role like that? Because obviously, that's quite a different pe preparation for that audition, I, as I well as when you actually get it. That it, yes. A lot of the um, other things you've done. I just, I, I'm a big m memorizer. I memorize my dialogue for anything um, before I even audition. Everything's Good. memorized. Um, I memorize music. Um, that's I, I don't because I don't read music. I've never read music, so I memorize by ear and I memorize by watching other people. That's um, fascinating in itself. Yes. That's uh, I mean, most people typically that's, you know, they're reading it right off the paper and that's yeah, that, but you must have a fantastic ear. Um, I, I've been told, I've yeah. been told, you know, but it's, it, when, it's, when it's fun, it's easy. Yeah. Like anything in life, you know, when it's fun, it's easy. So when I got that role, I was like, wow, and I wasn't familiar with any of the music because I'd never heard of the show before. Mm -hmm. So I had to pull out, I had to find a CD on like Amazon, I had to buy it and I'd find, listen to this music and then I had and I was trying to find videos on YouTube and just to whatever I could do to research the characters and research the show. Um, and that's just, you know, just how I did it. And it just kind of kind of grow and grow and grow. And we had six weeks of rehearsal and got into it. And it came out great. It came yeah. out great. And I would love to do a, another show. I just don't have time. Yeah. You know? Sure. Because the, the, theater, the theater that my daughter does all her shows in is doing Les Mis in the summer. Ah. And I so wanted it, but I just don't have time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a shame. We've yeah. got a chatter question. Yes, Steve, any suggestions how one might get into the stunt business? Ah, Steve, someone would like to know. How to any suggestions to get into the stunt business? How to yeah. get into the stunt business. Yeah. Have a, have some sort of athletic background. That's like step I, we, one. I think we spoke about that <laughs> earlier. Mm -hmm. um, have some sort of athletic background. Get into a martial arts class. Get into a gymnastics class. Um, and then you just gotta you just gotta come out here and you main thing is you've got to be part of the union. That's the biggest that's the biggest problem a lot of people run into is getting into the union. Because oh. it's not like acting where if you're not in the union, you you can do non union, you know, acting gigs and stuff like that. And there are non union stunt jobs, but if you get hurt on a non union stunt job, you you're not covered by anything. Oh. So it's really important to be part of the union and that's the biggest hurdle to get over. 
is oh. becoming part of the union. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm sure, definitely. Well, you're watching Actor Z on ActorsEntertainment.com. Need some fashion photos, headshots, event photography? The photographer here in Hollywood is John Michael Ferrari. Take a look at John's website, ImagesByFerrari.com, and we'll be right back with Actor Z. Hey everyone, I am Judith Jones. If you are looking for photographs, which a lot of you are, let's face it, we need photographs every day, actors, models, even if you're just, you know, the milkman, you need photographs, okay? You need to look good. And if you wanna look good, you've only got one man to go to, and that's John Michael Ferrari. You see, I needed to look, I needed to look good. So I went to John, and he basically took me to the most beautiful place in LA and took these wonderful photographs of me and I really didn't even recognize myself because I just looked, well, let's just face it, I looked stunning. So if you wanna look stunning like myself in those photographs, uh, go to him, he will make you look beautiful. If you're pretty, he'll make you look prettier. If you're not pretty, he'll make you look pretty. John Michael Ferrari. That's all you need to know. So go to imagesbyferrari.com, that's the website, imagesbyferrari.com, and you can check out all his photography, and you can contact him there. You can look at a picture of me. He directed me, because if you need direction, which, hello, I do, uh, he directs you too. So go and check that out, imagesbyferrari.com. You'll love it, you'll look great. Check it out, bye everyone. That was ImagesByFerrari.com. Check out ActorsEntertainment.com. Oh, I'm sorry, ActorsReporter.com. And click on the Actors Discounts so we can definitely hook you up with an amazing discount to work with a phenomenal photographer. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Alexis Nichols, and we're here with Steve Rizzo, stuntman, actor, you got it all. Uh, <laughs> got my hands in everything. Right? I think that's fantastic. So just before the break, we were speaking briefly about advice on how to become mm -hmm. a stuntman. Could you also add acting into that as well? Oh, yes, how absolutely. It? Um, it would it would so benefic benefic what's the word I'm thinking of? Benefit, <laughs> benefit you, you if mm -hmm. you took a lot of acting classes and just become uh, an actor as well as a stunt person and it just opens up more doors and it allows you to do more things as, as a performer because a, a, a stunt coordinator will hire you as a stunt guy but he can also hire you as an actor to do the stunt afterwards which is a lot of what we do we'll get hired to there's a stunt we got to do but there's some maybe one or two lines you got to throw at the actor oh, and then you, then you do the stunt so yeah absolutely get into acting classes just as much as some sort of martial arts or gymnastics or something physical Absolutely. Yeah, that sounds like great advice. Now we've got to talk about Vegas. Yes. <laughs> Vegas. Yeah. Uh, if you guys haven't watched Vegas, you've got to tune in Vegas Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. on CBS. Vegas stars uh, Dennis, Dennis Quaid, Michael Chiklis, mm -hmm. Jason O'Mara, who is Bob, there, my we've guy. There, we got a poster for it. There it is. Check that Vegas. out. <laughs> uh, I double Jason O'Mara. Okay. And um, I've been his stunt double now for about seven years. Oh. Wow. Yeah, yes. Do you get to know somebody pretty well doing all that stunt doubling with them? Um, it depends. Yeah. It depends. Um, uh, like, I have a relationship with Jason that's different than my relationship with Seth Rogen. Mm -hmm. um, I can talk to Jason like we're friends, and we text each other and email and oh, stuff like great. that. Whereas Seth, um, I won't talk to Seth until I work on a movie with him. Okay. So, you know, it just depends on, on, on who it is and how, how well you get along with somebody. Sure, yeah. sure. But yeah. Jason and I hit it off from the beginning. We That's just, great. we're kind of around the same age. I mean, we're both married, we have kids, so it's, you know, and he's a, he's really a family guy, mm -hmm. and which is, that's a lot of what we have in common, mm -hmm. both being family family guys. and Yeah, you're definitely a family guy, that's wonderful. <laughs> yes. That's <laughs> wonderful in Hollywood, because sometimes that can be quite rare. Oh, there, it's very know? rare, very rare. <laughs> sadly, sadly. <That's laughs> but, um, oh, there's check Jason. that out, there he is. Another one of Jason. <laughs> that's like one of my favorite pictures of him. Yeah, it is a good picture. Because it kind of <laughs> it kind of looks like me. So. <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminds me of myself. <laughs> I didn't know I was so good looking. <laughs> so, um, so we're talking Family Guy. One of the things that I have to bring up, you love to bake, especially around the holidays, yes, right? Yes, 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 yes. I love I know. to know about people's hobbies. <laughs> yeah, oh man, I just, I, it just I don't know. It, it, a few years back, it just hit me. I'm like, because I grew up, my mother cooked and baked, and my grandparents and, and they, everybody cooked and. I just never really got into it until like way later in life. But now I really enjoy it. And uh, I, I, I love to cook Italian food. 
and I love to love to bake, especially especially around the holidays because that's what it's all about. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. That's really fun. It's just a, such a fun hobby. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And obviously music is a big hobby for you as well. So yeah. we've talked a bit about that. Yes. Now, what about advice for getting involved in musical theater? I mean, you just, it sounds like you kind of just stumbled I into that amazing stumbled, Yeah, I kind of stumbled into that one. I kind <laughs> of, um, I had belonged to a, a theater group because I wanted to do more acting. So I was like, I'm going to join this theater group. So I got into this theater group, which was a great, the, uh, the um, man, now it's been so long, the group rep in Burbank. Mm. And, um, I got in with those guys, and their next show, right, right when I got in, was a musical. And I'm like, well, I could do a musical. I can, you know, I can sing. So I, took some, I, I started taking some lessons with uh, Calvin Remsburg, who taught um, David Hyde Pierce before he won his Tony Award. Oh, neat. And so I went to him, and I was training with him for a few months. And, and then I, I went and I auditioned, and I got this, the lead role in this musical so called Baby. Cool. At this, at the group oh, rep, and it's just there's it, the group rep's website. There it is. There they are. And um, yeah, and it was just I was I was shocked because I was like I wasn't expecting to get such a large role first time out, but it, it worked out great, and I had so much fun doing it. And and eventually I would like to do another one when when, when the time is right, but that's great. It's though. not time yet. So what are you? Um, oh, I, we've actually got a chatter question. Yeah, oh. The chatter wants to know what injuries have been incurred. The chatter would <laughs> like to know what injuries you've incurred. Um, Believe it or not, I've been hurt more playing when I was playing football than I have doing stunt work. Oh, I believe that. <laughs> um, but no, you know, just you know, minor minor things. Um, well, I have had I've had my knee reconstructed. That's not minor. That's that was pretty major. Um, but just you know, cuts and bruises and scrapes and a couple of broken bones here and there. Definitely. Um, but you know, you've been lucky. I've been very fortunate. Very fortunate. Have to be safe. Yes. Very safe. And I'm and I'm very I'm very safe. Good. I'm very safe. Good. Yeah. So, what are you working on now? Well, right now, um, I'm still doing Vegas. Uh huh. And uh, I'm there. I'm there. You know, a couple times a month uh, with Jason. And um, I just wrote a screenplay, uh, an old, old school kind of slasher screenplay that we're shooting um, in May, May or okay. June, late and spring. And what is that called? It's untitled right now. Oh, all right. It's, oh. It, well, it's it's been through so many titles, and I'm just not <laughs> happy with any of them. That so, does seem to happen quite a bit. Yes. Yeah, so it? <laughs> as soon as I as soon as I nail down a title, I will I will I will figure that out. So, <laughs> but it does have a, it has a great story, and it's just old school slasher brought you know to sure. the 20, 21st century. Oh, very so, neat. Yeah. Very neat. We've got another chatter question. Yeah. Did you meet Catherine Heigl? I did you did. meet Katherine Heigl? I did meet Katherine Heigl. Uh-huh. And what a sweetheart she is. One for the money. Yes. I, 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 she was, it was like one of my first days on the show, and, and I just wanted to go up to her and say hi and introduce myself. Because that's what I do. I'll, I'll introduce myself, especially if you're going to spend a lot of time with your actors. You oh, wanna, sure. You want to introduce yourself. You don't want to be the, that, that snotty guy who you know, doesn't talk to anybody. Oh, sure. And uh, she was like, she lit up and she smiled and she just, we just had, yeah, she was really super nice. Yes, oh, absolutely. Who are some of the favorite people that you've worked with? Because you've obviously been with some big, big names. Yes. Um, oh, man. Uh, I don't think I've had an issue with anybody. Everybody's That's been, wonderful. Everybody's been <laughs> wonderful. Um, it goes back to, I mean, Jason O'Mara is just fantastic. Um, Michael Chiklis mm -hmm. is, is one. We just uh, did a whole thing on, on Vegas last week. Right after the um, the uh, AFC Championship game, because Michael Chiklis is a Patriots fan, Ooh. and I'm a Ravens fan. Oh yeah! And he, oh man, we just had about a half an hour of just total banter before we even <laughs> shot. It was so much fun, and we were just bagging on each other. And another and, uh, poster for Vegas. Dennis Vegas, yeah. So uh, he's That's Michael Chiklis, right there. Yeah, Michael Chiklis and Dennis Quaid, and Dennis is awesome. Dennis is just fantastic. I mean, I honestly, I've, I really have not had a problem with ever with any kind of actor. That's actor. wonderful. Yeah. That's really great. You're watching Actor Z on ActorsEntertainment.com. Are you close to success in your business career but you keep hitting a wall? Certified life coach Jamie Kalman, she has the answer. Emotional healing for actors. Here's Jamie to tell you all about it. We'll be right back with Actor Z Chat. Do you feel like you're so close to a breakthrough in your acting career but keep hitting a wall? Are you ready to enjoy the next level of your career with confidence? Do you need help but can't afford private coaching? I'm Jamie Kalman. 
and I'm a certified healing practitioner and life coach. And I work with actors here in Hollywood to overcome self-sabotage and fear and help them create powerful transformations in their lives and careers. Now I've created this series, Emotional Healing for Actors, to share with you the highly effective energy healing technique that I use with my private clients. There are 24 segments available for you to download as either video or audio files to assist you anytime you need to clear blocks to the industry, prosperity, and self-esteem. Plus, you get a free video tutorial to explain how you can use this phenomenal method on your own. So why wait? You've invested in your craft. Now invest in what will enable you to really shine your personal power and confidence. That was Emotional Healing for Actors with Jamie Kalman. You can get a discount for that at ActorsReporter.com and click the Actors Discount. So definitely go ahead and check that out. Welcome back everybody to Actors eChat Show. I'm your host Alexis Nichols and we are in our final segment now with stuntman, actor, <laughs> goodness so many things, <laughs> that's what I keep saying, Steve Rizzo. So welcome back. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. So just before the break we were talking about uh, who you'd worked with mm -hmm. and how many wonderful experiences mm -hmm. that you'd had. Who's a dream person for you to work with? Dream person? Yeah, if you could just do stunts with anybody, act with anybody. Um, you know what, it goes right back to Jason O'Mara. Yeah. It does. It really does. That's um, great. It just he's just been so, so good to me and generous and kind and just he's one of those people that you wish everybody in the business would be like. He's just that's just who he is. Sure. And I just can't I just can't say enough. I just can't say enough about him. You know, oh, that's he really fantastic. he really can. He's just when when somebody's that good to you and that loyal to you, you just you know you just have to give them praises they deserve. So, yeah. absolutely. That's wonderful. Yeah. That is wonderful. So, earlier we talked quite a bit about your athleticism, mm -hmm. but I, I want to actually talk a little bit more about that. Sure. So, with track specifically, because yes. we did talk quite a bit about football, but let's, yes. let's talk about track. Yes, I am a, like I said before, I'm a member of the USA Track and Field mm -hmm. Association, mm -hmm. and uh, I just recently got back into it. That was, track and field was, was really my big thing um, in high school and college, and that's, I went to college and, and ran track, and I was very successful in track in college, and uh, after college, I kind of ran a little bit, and then, then played more football, and then moved out here, and then got away from it. So, what really sparked me was watching the Olympics, mm -hmm. and some of the competitors in the Olympics were 30, 35. The guy who won uh, the 400 meter hurdle, won the gold medal, the 400 meter hurdles this year, was 35 years old. Oh wow! And I went, man, okay, I'm 45, and I'm still in pretty good shape. I work out, you know, religiously. Is that an everyday thing for you? I mean, like you're you're buff. Yes, <laughs> I mean, come I work, on. <laughs> I try. I work <laughs> out. I uh, work out every day. Okay. I do a lot of plyometrics, a lot of weight training, um, a lot of speed and agility training, Neat. Um, just to keep me, you know, up to par with what I got to do. Sure, of course. So, so after watching the Olympics, I went, well, I could do this. I did some research and I found this, the the association, the Track and Field Association, and this is a master's division where anybody over 30 can compete in this division. Oh. So I fall in the 45 oh, to 49. USA Adrian. Track and Field, right yeah. there. And it's a great, it's it's the same association that all the Olympians belong to. So there's those guys that run the Olympics belong to the same association. And there's sanctioned meets all through the year. And uh, you just go and you compete, and I love the competition. Of course. I just, I'm such a competitive person. Mm -hmm. So, and then to be able to do it at my age, and, but the training is, is keeps me in shape for my job, too. Sure. So not only do I have fun, but I stay in shape for my job. Yeah. So. You know, it all works out. Now, do you travel for that quite uh, a bit? It's, uh, everything's local. Oh, okay. Everything's local. Okay. Yeah. So it's uh, all within Southern California. Yeah. Which, that's is, which is great. Yeah. You know, and it's a weekend thing. So it's like, you know, you go to, I have five, four meets lined up for February. Oh and then, then they kind of. 2013. 2013. 2013, yeah. yes, for 2013. And, um, and then they kind of taper off. And they go about to a month. Sure, so, so you're keeping quite busy. So what, yeah. what else is next for you in the future? Uh, well, right now we're really, I'm really pushing uh, my film, mm -hmm. trying to get that wrapped up. We're trying to get our, our actors and who we, who, we want, who we want and who we want to get. And uh, we've already signed our director. And, um, oh, good. And then he also, this director also has a couple other projects that I'm working with him on, where I'll be his stunt coordinator. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, you know, it's stuff's lined up and it's just a matter of getting the ball rolling and, and getting it all out there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, You're Steve. You're so welcome. <laughs> thank you all of our viewers and all of our chatters for joining us on Actors E Chat. We're here Monday through Friday from Hollywood, California. 
Want to see all of today's show? Go to ActorsEntertainment.com and put the talent's name in the search box. Again, that is Steve Rizzo today. Also, visit Actors Entertainment on IMDb.com to see some of the 850 plus entertainment industry guests on Actors E. Please follow Actors Entertainment on Twitter at Actors Entertain. And join us on Facebook at the Actors Entertainment fan page. And don't forget to like us. Stay tuned for our Actors Reporter Animation, which won Best Animation from the Telly Awards in 2010. So, great job. And now Media and Pepper J Productions. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. What's that? Actors Eat Chat Show? Happens to be my favorite in the morning. I want nothing but a cup of coffee, a bottle of Kahlua, six naked girl. Wait, no, that's not right. Actors Eat Chat Show. Gosh, hey, big Hollywood starlet that just happens to be walking by. Yes? I'm not from around here, but I want to be an actress just like you. What do I need to know? <gasps> Kid, let me tell you. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a naive newbie like you, there's one thing you need to know to get my first job. I lived in a slum, beat out 50 other girls to play a drunk bum. I cried. My first agent charged me 30%. Thanks. Working three jobs and I couldn't pay rent. But I'm an actor. She's an actor. A shark nod my leg on a B film in Sydney to pay for the stitches. I sold my left kidney. I finally made a union. Their rules were complex. Their piles of paperwork fogged up my specs. But I'm an actor. She's an actor. I'm an actor. Well, that's rather disturbing. But what's the one thing I need to know? Don't listen to the critics. Don't follow all the tabs. Forget that sleazy photog and the agent that's got cramps. Go to Actors Reporter. Actors Reporter. Actors Learn the tricks and the secrets without all the sweat. An info packed one stop shop. It's free and on. How can they help her? Career cues, union news, makeup woes, advice from pros, insurance tips, choosing scripts, everything at your fingertips. Actors reporter. Actors reporter. Actors reporter. Dad. I just got a call back. chat show. I'm just one of your Actor Z hosts, but as you can see, I'm also the Actor Z live video editor, which means that I'm here, even when you don't see me. Actor Z is here to chat with you Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, or Hollywood Time, as I like to call it. Our guests include actors, directors, producers, writers, singers, comics, and others that are all in the entertainment industry. You can see previous shows at www.actorsentertainment.com and be sure to check out our guest index to find your favorite celebrities. See you next time. I'm working.